Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today is the long awaited end of the month. I lost all my words there. They just went into the air and disappeared. <laughs> this is my uh, monthly end of the month. <laughs> How many times am I going to say month? haul okay so this is my May haul yes that's right May so this is just some of it so first few books you've seen already if you watched my uh, previous video so I'll just go through them uh, quickly we have you is for unicorn by Sachin Sachdeva and we have power quotes color by number book for adults by Sachin Sachdeva and then we have Sugar Skulls color by number by Sachin Sachdeva and then we have Flowers and Butterflies by Sachin Sachdeva and I really like this book from the Doodle and Color series I had never um, thought of getting one of these books but um, Sachin sent me these books uh, yeah these ones yeah and one more I've got up here and um, I want to get some more of them they're not all listed on the back here but I definitely want the Day of the Dead one I'm only going to show it at the back no but they're really nice pictures and they're like they're like um, like I want to say they're simple because there's large spaces here but I mean they're a full page and they're they're um they're detailed without being intricate if you can understand what I'm trying to get out there um I just love these like they're wonderful his I've got three butterfly books by him and I love every single one of them so um yeah uh, you're gonna be seeing some more of these as I pick which ones I want uh, next month probably or the month after who knows when but you'll see them okay so that one and then Paisley Designs Color My Number Book for Adults by Sachin Sachdeva and I want to recommend this one to you even if you don't like even if you don't like Paisley because these are some of them it's even hard to find the Paisley in the design He's, he's really worked wonders with that shape. I think maybe he has one of those doodle books that's Paisley as well. So I'll probably get that one. And then this is his latest book. He did not send me this one. I purchased this on my own. It is called 50 Animal Mandalas Adult Coloring Book by Sachin Sachdeva. And this, they're not typical mandalas they are circles and they have a symmetrical build to them um, some of them only have one animal in it so of course that's not symmetrical but the flowers are symmetrical so you can kind of cut them down the center where where these parts don't don't match up but then like on this side of it they do and on this side of it they do so here let me show you one that just has one animal well, of course they're all two Okay, so here, and there's all sorts of animals, like wild animals, farm animals, pets, underwater, on land, in the sky, they're all there. And these are just beautiful. I love the, I love the flowers. They're just, like, they're really pretty. I just thought it was a beautiful book when I, when I got it and started flipping through it. And you will see the picture that I've managed to color in it when we do my finished pages video. Um, and then I got this month's, not this month's, this quarter's Mystery Colors magazine. I have a subscription to this, and I will say they were late mailing the books out, but hopefully we can just uh, give them a break, and that it was all because of COVID that they had the, the slow release on this, and that next quarter it will come out a little bit more quickly so this is um, natural wonders is the theme this quarter and it's nice to see that it is something other than animals because so many of their books are are animals and um, there's a lot of nature in here but 
not so many animals and they're nice and they are nice and um, filled with lines and stuff so you can't tell what they are just by looking so yeah I didn't get around to doing anything in that but there we have it and then um, I had hoped to get these last month but they took a while coming in I got um, I had ordered four of Rita Berman's books and I got one like two weeks after ordering it and the other one I ended up contacting them after six weeks and they told me to wait another two weeks and it came shortly after that so worked out well so this one is um, I should have looked up what it means exactly but it means under the microscope uh, the water underwater with a microscope let's do that this one means my summer walk and this one is under the micro land under the microscope something like that I love those books too and then I received the coloring heaven collection for Australia and I really like this there's a lot of um, it's there's a lot of animals uh, they're not all animals but a lot of them are and of course it's in this is a this is um, from one of Hannah Lynn's books the Australia she calls it Aussie girl um, Ellie Marks Ruby charm colors I was really pleased to see her make an issue of this magazine the big portion of it though is well there's a lot by N Nalik Shoemaker I'm not sure how to say her name but there is a big portion oh and there's Kanoku Agusa but there is a big portion that is from Selena Fennick from her um, Australia book that she came out where each picture shows an animal and a flower so um, if you have that book you're gonna find a big section of this magazine to be re repetitious too but if you don't have that magazine and didn't re magazine sorry if you don't have that book and you kind of didn't want a whole book like that this would be a good one to pick up you'll get a good good selection of them here along with a whole bunch of really famous artists in here this is uh, Chintaka Harath okay so next one we got I got envelopes and boxes here these ones are the latest color by numbers by color Clestopia and they have unicorn some really good ones this time oh sorry you can't start right at the back because that's their that's their um, bonus images I don't know what I'm going to do when I actually finish one of their books because I like to do the bonus pages too but they put so many and I have them all I don't have them all that's a lie I have I have most of them so I don't know we'll get there when we get there oh it's still not here we go oh wait a minute I thought that was a horse it's not it's a unicorn and that's what we're doing <laughs> So unicorns, everybody knows what these books are like now, but they are really coming up with some good uh, titles, and I'm really glad that they've embraced, that they have embraced the fantasy genre as well, so as we see a few um, themes like that coming out. And they've also told us a bit about themselves now, so if you haven't heard, this one is a sloth and I like how it says for slow and easy stress relief and relaxation that was funny so let's start about here so I love sloths so this one I was really excited to see so anyways they've told us that they are three enterprising young men who are artists and they joined together and decided to give this a try and well they just exploded with a boom I hope that they end up giving us some contact information because I would love to talk to them um, set up a Facebook page you know go the whole social media route guys and you know give us a place to connect with you that would be wonderful 
and the next step on your journey, I think, your business journey. Then we have trains, and I love trains. I used to collect train postcards. Interesting fact about me. <laughs> or not so interesting. I think these will, be, these will be really nice done as well. And there's all sorts of different trains in here from your old steam machines, which are steam machines, the steam engines, which are my favorite. And as you saw, the new, the newer kind of train as well. And then I picked this one up. This is one of their older ones. It's race cars, muscle cars, classic cars. I'm not a car person, but I thought they would be fun to color. Something a little different than all the animals that they have. So for my collection of their books, I've decided that I'm collecting the mosaic books so far. I'm not interested in their spiral their spiral dots or lines books because they're just all famous people and and animals and I would prefer them to be the themes that these that these things are. So I'm just going to collect their mosaic books and I'm going to collect every book except the dog ones. I didn't I I will go so far to say as to say I do not like dogs. I do not remember ever being frightened by one. Well, there's one small occasion, but it was no it was no big ter tra traumatic thing in my life. So nothing happened to me as a kid that made me afraid of dogs, but I am afraid of dogs. So, and little ones, I'm not afraid of them, but I just don't like them. <laughs> they smell, they bark, they try to hump your leg, they nip at your heels, they just get close to you and I don't want them to and I am very, well, I mean, I know, I'm not sorry if you don't, if you don't like that, but I mean, you know, um, if you love dogs, then you do you and I will do me. And there's some more Colortopia in this haul as well. So this next bit was a huge surprise to me and I got hit by a random act of kindness fairy. Can you believe it? I could not. I was just absolutely thrilled and um, she did include her name so she knows who she is and um, I want to thank you again because of course these were all my wish lists so of course I love them. So, um, this is actually my first little town, nice little town book. I figured why not start with 10 and, um, it's just as beautiful as I thought it was. And I can see, I've seen some of these pictures colored already. Um, yeah, these are nice. And then another Edwina McNamee book to add to my collection. This one is Winter Dreamlings. So this will do me. It it has a lot of Christmas pictures in it, so this will do me well at the end of uh, the year. And hopefully there's a few in here which are just plain winter. Or maybe it's just a Christmas book. Yeah, lots of Christmas ones. So I'll bring this out for November. Though, now that I stopped, this one isn't Christmas. It's just winter. <laughs> And, ooh, yes, I love my Camellia Angel Cova. And as of today, like a couple of hours ago, she came out with a new book. And get this, are you ready for it? It's nighttime mandalas. So she's created a black backed book for us. I would like to see her do more of those and I'd really like to see her put a black background on her seasonal books. I think that they would look terrific, especially these new miniature ones. Those would look great. Um, I'm not saying to do that instead. She could give us both versions. She could give us a normal version and a nighttime version of all, when she's finished, all eight seasonal books. I think that would be a great idea. Let her know if you think so too, because I have already contacted her. So these are all celestial. Do they call? Does she call them mandalas? Yeah, sun and moon mandalas. And this is one that I really wanted, but just somehow have not ordered it yet. 
tab. I like that. That's going to be nice. Oh. Okay. Then, of course, I had to get this when it came out. This is uh, Jade Summer's latest no, it's not their latest. It's their latest buy one. As they didn't come out with one this Friday. Last Friday was the Weddings book, which if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that's not my kind of book. And then this one. So this is three weeks old. Kawaii Horror. I just wish it was grayscale, but okay. You can't have everything. The only thing I'm hoping is that they don't grayscale it at Christmas now because I've bought this version and if they come out with a grayscale one, I will buy it. So, give me some time. Oh, I like that. Vampire Mermaid. And was that a hand in the water? Oh no, okay. So yeah, I've seen pictures colored of this already. And then I went and got a Sun Life drawing book. I haven't bought uh, one of their books for, well, no, I guess that's not true because last month I got, uh, I got one of their um, one color books and a month or two months ago I got one of their one color books, but I haven't been keeping up to date with them. Um, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, this is their newest one, and I got it. And I want to go back and get the other, um, I believe there's two stained glass books. There's the World of Mice, and then there's the Christmas one. I wish they had stained glass, the witch's one. I would have liked that. So, um, yeah, these are fairies, and they are the stained glass pictures, which I've never done one of these, and they look like a heck of a lot of fun. They have tiny spaces too, so they're going to be suitable for water-based markers. Not going to have to worry about streaking if you just do one piece at a time. Good. And then this is the last. I have not looked today, so I could be wrong. But the last time I looked, this was their last um, mosaic book that they had put out. And this is Mythical Mermaids. I don't think I've even looked in this one. Enchanted Fantasy Women Under the Ocean by Colored Questopia. Yeah, and these fantasy ones they, they uh, put out are a lot more detailed than the animal ones. So they have put out three more books that I have seen and I've ordered them. And their last three books have been mandalas. So that interested me. So I gave them my trust and I've ordered them sight unseen so I am really hoping they're good mandalas so not as much stuff this month as um, in other months but still got a little bit left here them. Alright, so I'm really excited about this one. This is Coloring Book for Adults Fantasy. And this is put out by Blondia. Now if you don't know this, sorry I hit the hit the tripod. If you don't know this, Blondia is the parent company that Demita Victoria runs under. So look, it's the same sort of thing. So it is fantasy pictures, which are partially grayscaled, lots of portraits, all with a fantasy theme. I don't see how that one's fancy. Oh, she's an elf. Oh, so, yeah, the, the, um, Demita Victoria and also their parent company, Blondia, they have two copies of each 
of each book. They did confuse people a bit at the beginning by calling them version 1 and version 2 because usually a version is different than another version, but um, they basically just mean first copy and second copy of the same pages. So my sister and I trade um, duplicate pages with each other so that we can do color alongs with each other. So she'll be getting my second set of pictures. So I will do a proper flip through of that for you. And then I got the 50 summer miniatures and do you know what? She came out with this book. I'm, um, I'm subscribed to her YouTube channel. Um, you might want to go subscribe to it if you haven't. She doesn't have very many subscribers. She's, uh, I think she has 300 and some, so go show her love. You probably don't even know she has it, even though the information is in here. But, um, yeah, go, jo go join. She, she only, only posts when she's got a new book and she gives you a flip through. But anyways, the story I was telling, uh, I stop and start what I'm saying so many times that I, that I don't know what I'm talking about. But while I still have the thought in my mind, I placed an order and I finally picked up the spring miniatures. Uh, it had been out for a little while and for some reason I didn't just grab it. I guess because it was new and I wasn't too sure uh, about what I thought of this because I'm there for the mandalas. I, I have to say it. And then she started coming out, you know, I was there when she first came out with her first non-mandala book and they do make me think a little bit as to whether I want them or not. But her drawing is just so beautiful. Or I should, I should say cute. It's more cute than, than it, you know, it, it denotes cuteness more than it does beautifulness. And I love the little fairy houses that she has, like these. That, like, I love those anyway. I've, I actually, a little while ago, I went through Amazon and added a few just fairy house books to my wish list. Because I'd like to have some. I have a couple, but yeah, this is adorable. This, is this the one? Yeah, I love this picture. I don't know if you can see it. Well, let me see if I can find it. Of course, it'll probably take me forever if I try to find it, but where, oh, where are you today? Where, oh, where are you? I don't think I can find you. So yeah, I'm not finding it, so yeah, but it's three kittens sitting on three flowers and it's just absolutely adorable. And then of course I was there the day that this came out. I added it to my cart. I didn't do a buy now, so I haven't colored in this yet. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you saw when I did my, uh, when I did my entire collection that I collect Jade Summers Grayscale books more than I actually color in them. But uh, I was so excited the day that they that they did this. It was a complete surprise. I had no idea it was coming. And this was a perfect one for them to do. And then I got a book which I will admit is an acquired taste. Did I just get the one or did I get two of her books? I can't remember. I think I just got one of her books. Okay, yes, I did. I've, I've ordered two more of her books. But I have one of her books. Her name, let's, let's see who she is first. Her name, and I believe this is how it's pronounced, is Olga Golovishkina. And um, she's Russian. And she has a very odd style of coloring. And really, there's no other way to call it than odd. And her books aren't necessarily, well, I mean, they're coloring books, but she doesn't, she doesn't make them to be coloring books. She takes pictures from her sketchbooks and puts them in here. Now, they're completed pictures. We'll see this. But um, she is very... Well, I guess these pictures aren't too odd, but if I flip enough, you will see some. Yeah, here we go. And, I mean, there's just nothing to call that except odd. 
So yeah, they don't have backgrounds. They're just, you know, the initial sketches. Oh, I love that one from her sketchbook. And I just, I just absolutely love her. So I have one of her books and it's called Mounts Five. Yeah, she's got five books that have mounts that have animals or, uh, and not traditional animals with saddles on them. And strange concept, but yes. I like those books. And then, of course, there is this book, which I cannot wait to color in, because I've seen, I have seen many, many, many pictures of this book being colored. And it's a little strange how Sun Life Drawing and Belba Family came out with fairies at the same time. Though, I will give, I will say that Belba did it first. <laughs> You know, I mean, I think they're, they're the two, they're the two biggest, um, family run color by number companies. And they've come from, from small beginnings to becoming huge in the color by number community, which itself has only grown in a year, really. When I first started YouTubing, there wasn't much. And now this book I just fell in love with, and I cannot tell you why. It's called Simple Coloring, and that's all it is. The, the pictures on the back cover I fell in love with. So each one is kind of like a mandala, wherein they have a picture in the middle, and then they have a border, like a mandala. And that's all they are. This is a very simple for mandalas, but... I, I love this book. Those are ladybugs. I can't wait to do that one. It might be my first one. So yeah, this is just a beautiful book. And it only has one copy of uh, pages. So it doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, and this is from a company called Happy Coloring, I believe. Yes, and they have a lot of books, though... This isn't um, an example of what they're all like. They're very, very different. Their last few books have been have been um, easy to color books, though. So they have a ton of stuff, as you can see. So if they started out doing the Zentangly stuff and then branched off from there, so I have their uh, website bookmarked, and every now I go, every now and then I go and look and see if they have a new book out. And then I got another book from Blondia. They have a handful of books, and this one is Halloween. I'll just show you the pictures on the back that attracted me. So once again, we have partially grayscaled portraits, but these all have a spooky theme to them. And they're all signed with Blondia. And remember, Blondia is the parent company of of uh, Demita Victoria and they're also the parent company of a couple more uh, little brands that I get I guess they tried to they wanted to well I can't put words into what they're doing but they do have a few I, I, I want to say a bunch but it's not really a bunch but there are several uh, of these little books or these little companies that they tried out and they're all the same they're all the same thing they're partially grayscaled portraits and people just happen to um, to zone in on Demita Victoria and she went big or they went big I should say you can tell it's a Blondia book because you will be looking at the um, flip through on Amazon and it will show you this page it'll be styled differently but this part will be the same they'll show oh they'll show you this page and they'll show you that page and they might show you the coloring oh with the, with the um the portrait ones they they have you know how to color as well how to do eyes and how to do lips so yeah, this, this is cool. If you like creepy stuff, then you want to get yourself this book. And I will do a complete flip of that. So I um, also went to the dollar store and picked up a couple more of these small presentation books. 
um, oh, while we're here, I also ordered two of the uh, larger display books from Amazon. The, the one that I get that has two 60-page books um, is out of stock at the moment and has been for a little while, so I'll have to see if they come back with them. And then I bought myself some paper because I wanted some paper to do marker coloring on and I wanted it to be like marker paper. So I wanted it to be smooth like um, like the paper that um, Christine Caron and uh, mm, who's the other one? Oh, Nikki Burnett that they use. So I just went with the highest with the highest weight of normal paper that I could find. And it's it's by HP it's called HP Papers Premium 32. This is only laser printer. Okay, the ink locks into the paper so that it doesn't it doesn't run. And um, this is a bright white paper and it is completely smooth and it is considerably thicker than uh, copy paper but it is not cardstock so it's exactly what I wanted so if you have a laser printer and want the same thing that's what I advise um, then I got this Tabitha Barnett book Garden Circles it is mostly mandalas but it's other things too and they're all um, garden related. Well, I guess they pretty much are mandalas. So she has two copies of her pages, though not all of them. She'll have one set that are black backed, and at the end, some of the pictures will have been black backed for you. Did, did I call this black backed? So they're normal white pages at the front, and then some of them. I think there's like something like 13 to 15 of them will have been black backed. She's always done it that way, so any book of hers you'll find that way. Okay, so now if you saw my previous video, um, my, I called it my vlog, um, you'll know about this book. Um, it was not what I wanted it to be. Uh, I asked for a refund in exchange for returning the book, and they told me to keep the book, and they refunded me anyways. So here I am with this book. Um, every other page is a little small coloriage mystere, so I will do those. And then here is the other um, Rita Berman book that I got. This one is my Spring Walk. So spring is almost over, so I don't I'm still going to color in this. As soon as I got it, I colored a picture in it. So you'll see that for um, when I show you my finished pages. And this is, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to show you what her books are like because, I mean, everybody, I'm like the last person on the planet who wants one of her books that finally has them. And then we got some special stuff people so this has been on my wish list for ages and I finally bought it for myself um, Menuet de Bon Ur, this is not uh, it's not available on Amazon.ca right now so I don't know if it's coming back or not I do want it especially after ordering this this is Rhapsody in the Forest and it is beautiful. It is basically all the all the animals living in the forest. You know, some of them are humanized and some of them are not. And it's just like a really beautiful book. I've seen some of these pictures colored and yeah, I love it. After getting the uh, uh, the coloring heaven uh, animal wonderland I believe it's called Kanoko Agusa after getting her issue of coloring heaven I knew for sure I wanted her books so I will be getting her menu at the Bonner and um, she has a postcard book called waltzes of the seasons or something like that 
and then the only supply that I bought oh no because I got the display books and the paper but uh, I got two packs of these because they were only $9.99 they have gone up in price and of course if I speak prices remember I'm in Niagara Falls Canada so .ca Canadian dollars these I've never heard anybody talk about. They're called Crazy Pops. They're Pentel Crazy Pops. And they're iridescent metallic gel pens. They're the exact same thing as the Sparkle Pops. Or the other name for them is Dual Metallic <laughs> Pentel Dual Metallic. I can't remember the full name of the other ones. Uh, so these are four different colors. There's a Cotton Candy Bliss, which is pink and blue. There's Electric Watermelon, which is red and green. There's Velvet Stardust, which is... It's hard to tell if that's yellow and blue. Oh, yeah, it is. It's yellow and blue. And then there's Lemon Lime Slime, which is yellow and green. And they're the same thing. So I bought two packs since they were cheap, uh, but like I said, they've gone up in price since. And then, my lovelies, I got, I, I don't know which one comes first. Well, this one does. Oh, it's the one I've colored in that comes first. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> this one comes first. I got the first two books of Erie's Trace Around the World series and um, I've since found out that this is a thing in Japan. There are other books that are um, tracing, coloring books and I think that the word tracing is being misunderstood by North Americans um, there is no tracing involved, really. Uh, I colored a picture in this right away to see how it would work. Um, um, Lavella has done a video. Um, I was one of the people that had, I don't know whether I had any <laughs> influence on her or not, but she was getting people asking her to do a video on these since she had them. And she colored from them for us. And after seeing her do the books, uh, that sent me over the edge made me know that I wanted these books so I colored one in it right away the first thing I want to tell you is that as soon as I received these books I opened it up and I was shocked at how visible <laughs> the pictures are because everybody who does a flip of these tells you how faint the pictures are they do not show up on camera they're done in kind of a light green. I would even say it's a yellow green color. And it's probably a lot like the artist's blue that do just does not show up on camera. It shows up in front of your eyes though just fine. I mean I have absolutely no problem seeing exactly what I'm looking at. Even the details. So I just don't want to show you the picture that I colored because that is, let's hear, let's put it in front of, because that is a surprise for the people who watch my finished pages. But you're not seeing any, you're not seeing much of anything on camera here, but I am seeing these pictures perfectly well. And this book is just like Romantic Country. In fact, it stars the... It stars the, is this the one that does it? Starts out with, with the characters. Okay, it's a minute. Oh, no. But anyways, it has the little girl, it has the cat, it has the goose. I think. They're not in it much, but they do appear. So this is the first one, and I'm not doing a flip of it. I will do a proper flip, though I am giving you way too much information for a haul. But the cover of this one is made out of, like, wrapping paper, and it is a poster. You can undo it, and it's a poster. I don't know if you're meant to color it or not, 
but uh, yeah. Then I got the second book. So this one is just Travel Around the World. It's a geography book. Each page is dedicated to a different country or part of the world. Of course, they don't cover everywhere. Canada, please. Canada. But um, there's a lot of countries in there. And then this one is, um, this has a normal cover. <laughs> it's not wrapping paper. It's a normal dust jacket. And this is the second book in that series. And again, it's exactly the same. It's got the yellow-green printing, and I can perfectly see everything with my eyes. Yes, of course, it's fainter than black ink, but um, it, is not, it is not impossible to see with your eyes. And I'm wearing glasses, so people who don't wear glasses will probably be able to see it better. I don't know. But so this one is Festivals Around the World. So again, we go around the world, and this time we we'll take a look at each country or part of the world, and um, a festival is celebrated or holiday. And so um, the next time I order from Etsy, I don't do it every month. Um, you know, I do it every like three third or you know whenever I want to get books, but not every month. I don't. I do not do it every month. Um, I will be getting her third one to this series. So, um, yeah, and if anybody has any news on the rumor that uh, Romantic Country 3 is coming back or has come back into print, uh, please contact me and let me know what you know, <laughs> because I am, I am, like, listening for this news really, really closely. Y'all know how much I want Romantic Country 3, and I promise I will color in it right away as soon as I get it. And I might even do it on screen. Who knows? So, um, that's it. That's my haul. Um, let's see. Over 42 minutes. But that's because I talked a lot. There's not as much stuff here as usual. And, yeah. So, I'm starting to blabber. So, I know that it's time for me to stop. So, um, I hope that you uh, saw some stuff there that you had been wanting to know what it looked like. And, um... I will be doing flip-throughs of everything on there, so if you're interested in one, you can let me know because then I'll put it towards, I'll put it on top of the pile, um, or towards the top. Whoever gets to me first <laughs> will be on the top. Um, so yeah, if there's one you particularly want, say so, and I'll do it before I do the other ones, but all of them will get flipped. So um, I am going to close now and say goodbye. So standing up. <laughs> In the meantime, until next time, bye-bye.